Oh, hello everybody. Sooty, you need to get a move on with those side bridges. We're leaving in a minute. Um, what flavour's that, Sooty? Cheese and chocolate? Oh, that's different. Why have you done that? Because they're Richard's favourite foods. Yes, but not together. Sweep, have you got the spoons? <laughs> oh, no, pick those up. Boys, boys, please stop messing about. Mr. Slater doesn't give me a day off very often, so let's enjoy it. When you promised you'd take me for a drive in the country, I was expecting kindness and calm and not silliness, so no more silliness. Thank you, because I'm really going to enjoy today. Oh, so am I. Remember the last time we went on an outing? It was brilliant. Yes, it certainly was. Nothing so good as the fresh country air You may even make some new friends while you're there Running and hiding are games we can play Out in the country is where we will stay On such a wonderful day Let's all go driving in the country Come along, we'll have lots of fun See all of the things that we will do So let's So let's make today's outing even better. <laughs> Sooty, go and get the camper van and we'll soon be ready for off. And I'll go and get a deck chair for the picnic. Right, sweet checklist. Spoons? Sandwiches? No. Squash? Squash, sweet squash. Richard, did you know you were covered in mud? Actually, Sue, I did. Thank you. <laughs> Come on, let's get everything loaded. Uh, what have you got there? Well, you never know what you might need on a day out. Sue, what have you packed this for? Oh, well, I wasn't too sure what to wear, so I thought I'd make up my mind when we got there. Oh, why have you bought this lamp? I can't get changed in the dark. Oh, you may as well have packed up the kitchen sink. Let's go! Stop revving the engine, Sooty! Bye! Bye. Bye. Ah, oh, this is the line, the open road, a chance to get away from it all with a drive in the country. To sit on a deck chair with a full picnic camper. Hang on a minute! Sooty! We've forgotten all the stuff! Reverse! Right, I'm going to 
to hook up the trailer and uh, pack the picnic. Uh, what's all this? Yeah, so we need some games to play after the picnic. Well, what's the matter with good old-fashioned hide-and-seek? It's good old-fashioned. That's what. No, not boys. Off we go again. This is the life, the open road, a chance to get away from it all, and a drive in the country. The wind in my hair, the beeping in my ears. Hang on a minute, what is that beeping in my ears? We've run out of petrol. Oh no. <laughs> oh. 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 Come on, Richard, put your back into it. <laughs> this is turning into a disaster. Oh, hello. You can fix it. Oh, he can fix it with a magic wand. All right, then, here we go. Izzy Wizzy, let's get busy. Safely in. Ah! <laughs> uh, what do we need this for? In case it rains, of course. Oh. Oh. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Hurry up, Richard. <laughs> All right, off we go. Bye. Bye. Stop revving the engine, Sooty. We've got a puncture. Everybody out. Come on, Sue, let's go and get the spare tyre. On with it and change the tyre. Oh, you're strong, uh, Sue. Here's the spare, Sooty. Got it. Oh, nice job, Sooty. What did you do with the punctured inner tube? <laughs> <laughs> For the last time, Sooty, stop revving the engine! <laughs> Bye. Stop revving the engine, Sooty! Sooty, I told you to stop revving the engine. Look what you've done now. You've blown it up. Oh. Well, Sooty, you promised me a drive out into the country. A day when I could get away from the park. And thanks to you, we haven't got past the garden gate. What's that? Why don't we stay here? Oh, yes. Why not? You can sit on your deck chair and relax. We've made sandwiches and everything. <coughs> Oh, you mean have a picnic in our garden? Oh, that's not such a bad idea. Yes, come on, let's make the best of it. It could be worse. It could be raining. <laughs> oh, it is! Quick, it's raining! Quick, take cover! Take cover! <laughs> oh, poor Richard. Sandwich, anyone? Bye. Oh, hello. There. So clean you can see your face in it. Oh, hello. 
Do you like our cup? It's the prize for the sports day competitions this afternoon. What was that, Sue? Oh, hello. I was just telling the boys and girls about the sports day. Oh, yes. Mr Slater's put me in charge this year. Oh. Oh, it's Mr Slater. Hello, Mr Slater. Yes, everything's here. Nothing will go wrong. If it does, I can have the sack. <laughs> I don't need a sack. I've already got one. <laughs> you mean I'll get the sack? Oh, uh, oh, he's gone. Oh, dear. Hope everything goes well. Mm. Where are Sooty and Sweep? Oh, I think they're warming up at the gym. Oh. Sooty, I just thought I'd come and see how you were getting on. Where's Sweep? He just took off. Oh, that's a shame. So are you all ready for the competitions? You're going to win Easy Peasy Lemon Squeezy. <laughs> all right, Smarty Bunch. Come on, then, let's see your muscles. Uh... <laughs> Come on, then, the other one. <laughs> Sooty, they're like peas in a pod. <laughs> what? You're going to get them really big with the chest expanders? Ooh, go on, then. Sooty, show us how it's done. Come on. Are you sure you can do this? Go on, have another go. Come on. Oh, Sooty, this is very difficult. This time, put all your effort into it. Come on, really let rip. Come on, come on. Brilliant, Sooty. Brilliant. One, two, one, two. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Slater Sports Day. Over to you, Sue. Thank you, Richard. That's right, boys and girls. Slater Sports Day is the sporting event of the year. Over to you, Richard. Thank you, Sue. Our expert athletes are now warming up for the first competition, which is called... Over to you, Sue. This is no yoke. It's the egg and spoon race. Over to you, Richard. Thank you, Sue. Sack for you. Thank you. Here's one for you. Thank you. Good girl. Here's one for Thank you. Thank you. And here's one for you. Thank you. And one each for Sooty and Sweep. There you go. Yes. How do you do a sack race? <laughs> oh, it's easy. In fact, you're talking to a sack race expert, actually. What? Show you. Well, all right. Then look, it's simple. You just get both feet and put them right inside the sack like this. Very important to pull the sack right up so you're right inside it. Just like this, you see? Ah, it's all gone dark. Where's the door? Take your places. Hello? Get set. Go! What's going on? Let me out. Sooty! Oh! And our canine contestant Sweet has taken the lead! This is incredible! Sweet wins! Congratulations! I think Richard has well and truly 
got the sack! Oh, uh, 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 hello, yes, Mr. Slater. Yes, everything's going very well. Bye bye. Help! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Richard, your sack must have somehow tied itself into a knot. Don't understand this, Sue. It's never done that before. Well, actually, Sooty did it. It was very silly of him. You could have hurt yourself. Uh, excuse me. Boys and girls, it's time for the event you've all been waiting for. The grand final of Slater's Sports Day. The Long Jump. Will the two finalists take their places in the jumping arena? Now, boys, before we can start the final competition, here are the rules. Now, we need two markers for this. The first marker is where you start the jump, and we'll put the second marker down where you finish the jump. Then we'll measure the distance between the two, and whoever's jumped the furthest will be the winner! <laughs> right, who's going to jump first? You both can't jump at the same time, can you? We'll let Sooty go first, because he won the first race! Off you go, Sooty. Right, let's measure it. We could have a record on our hands there. That was definitely the landing point. Here we go then, Sooty. Let's see. We've got... Wow, it's 60 centimetres! And a record jump from Sooty there! Yes? Your turn now. Oh, all right then. You're an expert. Oh, he's an expert, ladies and gentlemen. OK, sweet. Your turn. Sure, you're an expert. <laughs> okay. Well, let's measure it anyway. You can help measure it if you want. Let's put the marker in first. That's where you landed, wasn't it? Okay. You can hold the tape measure. <laughs> Go on, up. Put it at the starting thing. I don't think we're in for any record breaking today. Let's measure it, so to get... Wow! It's 80 centimeters. 80 cent. <laughs> hey, sausage brain. Let go of it. Go on. <laughs> Come here. He's going to have to go, that dog. Move out of the way. Come on, let's measure it properly. Let's have a look. <laughs> it's 16 centimetres. Yes? Can you have another go? I don't, should we give him one more go, everybody? Yes? All right, then one more go. But this time, sweet, take a really good run at it. You got it? A run. Yeah, well, go on, whenever you're ready, then. Really good run. Sooty, dig him out. <laughs> Welcome back, Sweet. That was pretty good. Right. Yes, we'll measure it. We'll measure it. I know it's there. I got it. Right. Okay. Here we go, then, everybody. Let's find out what it was, and we've got to. <gasps> 60 centimetres, which means it's a draw! And so, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I can announce the joint winners of Slater's Sports Day. And the prize goes to Sooty and Sweep! Over to you, Richard. Thank you, Sue. Yes, come on, boys, take a bow! Oh, dear. It looks like Richard's making a prize fool of himself. <laughs> bye bye, everybody. Uh, bye bye. Uh, any sign of the boys yet? No, Richard. They're being a right pair of lazy bones.
Are you awake? <coughs> well, I can't hear anyone walking about. <coughs> I said I can't hear anyone walking about. <coughs> well, I can only hear one of you. Come on, get a move on. <coughs> Are you out of bed yet? <coughs> Is Sooty awake? Well, go and wake him up. table. And anyway, you two are late for breakfast, and if I don't get a move on, I'm going to be late for work as well. Mr. Slater's given me a very important job today. Mm. Huh? What job? Ah, today I'm the beach warden, which means I'm in charge of everything that happens on the beach. Oh, we could help you with that, couldn't we, boys? <laughs> well, I'm not sure. You won't be any trouble. Well, no, I'm sorry, but this is a very responsible grown-up's job, which is why Mr. Slater's picked me to do it. <laughs> right, I must go. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye! Oh, I'd have loved a day on the beach. What's that, Sooty? Why don't we go and have fun on the beach anyway? Yes! Come on, boys. Let's get packing. Here we are, open for business. <sighs> Perfect. You know, sometimes I amaze myself. Mm. <sighs> Don't bite me, boy. Hello, Sidi. What a beautiful day! Let's sunbathe. Yes, Sooty? We should rent some sun lounges from that hut over there. Oh, good idea. Come on, then. Hello, service. Hello, good morning. What can I... Morning, Richard. What a glorious day. And what are you lot doing here? You thought you'd come and have some fun on the beach? Oh, did you? Well, as long as you don't get up to any tricks, or I'll be in trouble with Mr. Slater. Oh, go on, Richard. You won't even know we're here. You'll be as good as gold. Oh, all right, then. What do you want, Sooty? Can you hire a sun lounger? <laughs> go on, then. <laughs> No, boys, don't take the bottom lounger, take the top lounger. Richard's been lounging about. <laughs> Can you have your ball back, please? Oh, it's your ball, is it? Well, just be careful. Can you have your ball back, please? Well, I'm afraid, boys, on this occasion, the answer is no. Yes, no. 
I am running this beach for Mr Slater and this ball is confiscated. <laughs> yes, confiscated. <laughs> You'll have to do something else. Go and play on the bouncy castle. Go on. <laughs> You fancy an ice cream? That should cool us down. <laughs> then we can do some more bouncing. Ice creams, are they? Yes. Surprise, surprise. Well, I'm sorry, but I am running this beach, and these ice creams are confiscated. <laughs> yes, confiscated. <laughs> What's that litwit thing he's doing? Thank you, Susie. Sorry about our friend Richard. He's in there, covered in ice cream. I think he's just cooling off. <laughs> what did you say, Sully? How's my sculpture coming on? Very well, thank you. Why don't you come and have a look? Cool. This is a great sand sculpture, isn't it, boy? Yes, if I can get a chance to finish it, if Richard has stopped chucking ice cream at me. <laughs> You'd like to build a sand sculpture? Oh, that's a fantastic idea. I think Richard's got some buckets and spades at the beach hut. Let's go and ask him. Oh, it's you lot, is it? Hmm. Hey, I hope that man's not too angry with me. What do you want, anyway? Buckets and spades? You're going to build a sand sculpture? <laughs> You've got no chance. And anyway, we all know that I am the sand sculpture expert around here. Rubbish. What do you want, Sooty? Prove it. Uh, well, uh, I'd love to, but I'm running the beach and I'll get in trouble with Mr Slater. Don't be silly. Mr Slater would be very pleased. I mean, if you built an amazing sand sculpture for everyone to see... Come on, Mr Expert. Let's see what you can do. Uh, all right, you're on. <laughs> Let's see who can build the best sand sculpture. Hooray! Hey, come on, boys. Let's do it. Perfect. You know what I mean? You think that's funny, do you, Sooty? <laughs> well, if it's a water fight you want, then game on, get some of this! <laughs> Who's running this beach? Me! <laughs> Running the beach. <laughs> bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Slater State Circus, live from the Big Top. You're going to see amazing tightrope walking and amazing tricks like this. 
Oh, ho, ho. yes. Hi, thank you. Thank you very much. Come on, Sooty. But without further ado, please welcome the performers from Slater's State Circus. <sighs> Where are they? Oh, hello. Hello. What time does the show start? Oh, it's this afternoon, Sue, if the circus performers turn up, that is. Oh. Ooh. Oh, it's Mr. Slater. Hello, Mr. Slater. How's the circus? Well, the performers aren't actually here yet, but I'm sure they will be. If they don't arrive, I'll get the sack. It's got to be round here somewhere. Why don't you knock on this door? Somebody could give us directions. Hey, great idea. Oh, hello. Um, I wonder if you can help us. We're lost. We're trying to find the big top. No, not the big shop. The big top. No, not the big shop. The big top. Top. Oh, right. I think I've got that. Come on, guys. <laughs> no, Sooty, you can't be in the show. I need everything to go smoothly today. Oh, Richard! Look, why don't you two go out and enjoy yourselves? Oh. I'll worry about everything here, then you can come back later and hopefully see the circus. Oh, yes, great! <laughs> oh, hello, Sweep. Now, you haven't seen any circus performers, have you? <laughs> Just some shoppers. <laughs> Wait, we're going out! Oh, what a good idea, Sooty! The bird garden! I wanted to come here. Thank you very much. I'm Norman. Hello, Norman. What's the matter, Sooty? What do you mean, where do the batteries go? <laughs> they don't run on batteries. No, they're live birds. That's Percy, Cyril, Harold, Jean-Pierre. Of course they're very clever, yes. They certainly are. Look at this. Is oh. Sit still. Hey, you can... Look at that. Look at you. You look really good. Oh, oh Sooty. Yes, that's smashing. What's that, bird brain? Oh, it's nearly time for the circus. Well, I like circus. We like circuses, don't we, boys? Would you like to come? I'll ask the gang. Shall we go to the circus? Yes. Great. Well, we'll see you later then. Why, that's good. See you there. Thank you. Bye. Hello. Oh, hello, you three. Hey, you haven't seen the circus performers on your travels, have you? The audience are coming in. Uh, no. Oh, this is a disaster. Mr. Slater said he was going to give me the sack if anything went wrong. What am I going to do? Oh, no. Go on, Richard. We know lots of tricks. Hey? And you don't need batteries? No. Batteries? Oh, I'm not sure about this. Hey! Hey, come back! OK, everything's going to be fine. What's that, Sooty? Right, everything will be fine. We won't let you down, Sooty. We don't want to let him down. Amazing! 
amazing budgies! Hold oh, tight. Good boys, one, two, and one way, three, I fly. Oh, good boy. That's it, one, 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 one. Good boy. That's it. One more time, jump. That's better, sir. Good boy, that's fine. Thank you. That's right, you've got it going now. Thank you. Watch very carefully. Here we go. This is it. Ready, right. Up one. Come on. Up two, come on. Up three, up four, up five. <laughs> right, don't sit on the car. Now, what's going to happen? He's going to run on up. Say that about that. You don't know what you're doing, do you? Let me try. Look, show him what to do. Look, all you've got to do is run along the table and sit on the car. And... Sooty, Sooty, what shall I do with him? Sort them out? Good idea, that. You better get down. Get out of the way. Uh, please, I miss fire. There you go. Okay. Now look. All you've got to do when I say quick as a drain, come on. <laughs> Not me. Come on, sit there. Then it all wrong. On the car. Hurry up. You're doing very good. And now for the stars of the show, those crazy clowns, Sooty and Sweet. Having my breakfast. Cheers. 
pesky flies. Uh, ah! Oh! What's going on here? Get out of it! What? What's this all about? What the? Ah! Ah, <laughs> uh, so it was you lot, was it? I might have guessed. Sooty, I've told you before, do not land planes on people's toast. You were practising for the Junior Flyers Club. <laughs> junior Flyers Club? Well, you need a much bigger plane than this for a start, and you need to do it without crashing it into people's breakfasts. <laughs> oh, yes, to be in the Junior Flyers Club, you have to be something special. You have to be able to perform spectacular stunts and manoeuvres that will really knock your socks off. Yes, or your underpants, Richard. <laughs> Hey, those are my underpants. What are you doing? <laughs> Come here, with you. give me those sooty. I've got to wear those pants today. Sooty. Richard's really got his knickers in a twist. <laughs> <laughs> sooty, I say sooty. Sooty, <laughs> sooty, stop playing with this a minute. Why am I dressed like a smarty pants? Well, it just so happens that Mr. Slater has put me in charge of the Junior Flyers Club today, which is why I'm dressed like a pilot. Thank you. Oh, right. Come on. Let's go, boys. Hang on a minute. Where do you think you lot are going? To the Junior Flyers Club, of course. Ha, ha, ha. I've told you before. You can't join the Junior Flyers Club. You haven't got a proper model plane. Anyway, I'm going to be late, so be good, and I'll see you later. You were looking forward to going to the Junior Flyers Club. Mm. Yes, yeah, so was I, Sweep. Yes, Sooty, we still can. Mm. What do you mean? You heard, Richard, we don't have a proper plane, Sooty. <coughs> oh, oh, the magic wand. Mm. <laughs> Good thinking, Sooty. Easy, <coughs> Wizzy, let's get busy. <coughs> Come on, boys, let's explore! <gasps> Concord! One of the fastest planes ever! <coughs> yes, and fighter jets! <coughs> oh, I like this one! <coughs> you wonder if we could fly that one over there? Oh, yes! Wouldn't that be fun? <coughs> what are you up to, Sooty? <gasps> Easy, Wizzy! Let's get busy! Oh! We're going to fly to ourselves! <laughs> This'll show Richard and the Junior Flyers Club. Come on! Good flying, pilot. Oh, it's my phone. Oh, it's Mr. Slater. <laughs> Hello, sir. Oh, yes, the Junior Flying Club is going really well. It better go well or I'll get the sack. Oh, don't worry, sir. I think it'll really take off. <laughs> take off! <laughs> oh, he's gone. <sighs> oh, how exciting. Take off and buckle up, okay? Oh. Ah! We're taking off backwards! We're taking off backwards! Oh, those pesky boys, they haven't a clue what they're doing. We should be going forwards! <laughs> yes, sweet! That is the Eiffel Tower! Hello down there! Oh, what a nice man! Yes! And the Taj Mahal! Hello! <laughs> and a warm hello to you too! <laughs> 
Yes, it does look cold down there. Hello! <laughs> Going very well, isn't it, gang? Yeah. And just to think, Sooty Sweep and Sewer at home behaving themselves for a change. Oh, I'm quite thirsty. Sweep, sweep. <coughs> oh, please, could you fetch me a glass of milk? <coughs> oh, I don't think I could get used to this. The sunshine, the clouds, and the steady turn of it. <coughs> Sweet. It's all over my dress. You'll get me some more. Thank you. Oh, the sight of the earth from this high up is truly breathtaking. You know, for some people, their glass is always half empty. But I am definitely a panda whose glass is half full. Oh, sweet! My milk's all over the floor. <laughs> would I like a straw? No, I would not like a straw, Sausage Brain. I would like my milk in a glass, please. <laughs> you know, it's very hard to be angry with that dozy dog when you're this relaxed. I mean, cruising high in the sky like a mighty bird. All I wanted was a glass of milk, and what I've got is alarm bells in my ears. <laughs> you think there's a problem with the engine? Oh, well, in that case, why don't you try giving it a drop of oil? Oh, that dozy dog. I don't think I'm ever going to get a drink. Oh, well, at least I can enjoy the view. The mountains. Oh, the oceans. Sweep. Hang on! Sweep! What are you doing? You're oiling the engine? I was joking, you nincompoop! Come back inside this minute! Hello, Sooty. Do you know what's wrong with the plane? We're running out of fuel. We're going to have to make an emergency landing. But, oh no, we're going to land right on top of Richard's Junior Flyers Club. Quick, get back to the control, Sooty. Sweet, we need to warn Richard quickly. Call him. You can't? Why not? You're out of minutes. Oh, well, text him then. Quickly. Oh, what a perfect day. Oh, I've got a text message coming through. Ah, it's from Sweep. Hello, Rick. How are you, lol? <laughs> P.S. Don't look up. Eh? Don't look up. Oh, no, it's you three, is it? What have you been up to? You've flown round the world and you've come home for tea? Yes, and you said Sooty couldn't fly a plane, but he's just proved it. Well, that was a pretty impressive landing, pilot. <laughs> <laughs> Can you join the flying club now? Well, why not? Yippee! <laughs> oh, no, not that thing again. 
Oh, hello there. Today's April the 1st, that's April Fool's Day, and I am determined not to fall for any practical jokes. You see, every year Mr Slater holds a competition, the biggest Fool Cup, which, owing to last year's catastrophe... I won. Hi, Dickie Blazer, organiser of Slater's biggest Fool Contest. I'm proud to present the cup to Richard! <laughs> <laughs> and then there's the big ceremony at the April Fool's tea party. And I vowed then, never again, never again, never again. Right, I'm ready for anything, and nobody is going to make a fool out of me today. <laughs> Shh, here he comes. Good morning, everybody, on this lovely day. Good morning. <laughs> and do you know what day it is today? Monday. Yes, I know it's Monday, but it's April Fool's Day. <gasps> is it? Yes, it certainly is, as you very well know, which is why you've got up early to make breakfast. I'm no fool. <laughs> yes, let's see if we can remember what happened last year. <laughs> I believe this is yours. Here's your toast, Richard. Oh, thank you, Sue. Hey, would I like some jam with it? Oh, yes, please. It's my favourite strawberry. Hang on a minute. So, I think I'll have uh. raspberry today. Oh. <laughs> hey, do I like Sue's flower? Oh, yes, it's lovely. Oh, thank you. I picked it from the garden. It smells beautiful. Oh. Mm. Why don't I smell it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think I will smell the flower. <laughs> you can't catch me! Not this year! <laughs> oh, it's the phone! Shh, it's Mr. Slater! Hello, sir! Hi. Sorry? This afternoon at uh, two o'clock, you want me to pick it up from the garage and deliver it to the park. It's from a Mr. A. Priffle. He'll collect it from the tea party. Yes, that's no problem. My pleasure. It... Oh, he's gone. Hey, that was Mr. Slater. He's given me a very important job. Oh, yes. He wants me to collect an executive car from the garage this afternoon for a Mr. A. Priffle. He must be a very important friend of Mr. Slater's. Oh, but we're still all going to the tea party this afternoon, aren't we? Why, yes! Hooray! Can you come with me to the garage? Well, yes, of course. At least you won't be able to play any tricks on me. Come on! Hey? You want me to wait outside while you clean your teeth? Oh. All right, then. Hang on a minute. I think I'll wait for you inside. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh! Oh, sweep! You know that bone you lost yesterday? I think it's in the garden! <laughs> I will not be this year's biggest fool!
Oh, thank you. Right, come on, Sooty. Wow, what a car! Now I know why Mr Slater chose me. Oh! Now you know why Mr Slater chose me. Sooty, it won't start! Hey, Check the engine! Oh! <sighs> oh no! <laughs> Sooty! Just try and start the engine. <laughs> Excuse me. Look at my face. Never mind about laughing. We've got to walk. Come on. Right, just have to take it nice and easy. Don't do that! Turn it off! Come on, buckle up and let's get a move on. Sooty. Come on, Sweep. Oh, I'll have to check the radiator, Sooty. <laughs> this car's like a sausage. Why? It's a banger. All right, it's very funny, isn't it? I've got to deliver this car to the April Fool's party, or Mr. Slater will give me the sack for sure. Quick in the car. <laughs> What was his name again? Oh, yes, I wrote it down on a piece of paper. It's, um, a Mr. A. Priffle. That's right. Come on. <laughs> Where's Richard? I think he's still at the car. <laughs> 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 Good idea, Sooty. Uh, is there a Mr. A. Priffle here, please? A Mr. A. Priffle? A Mr. April Fool? Oh, no! Hi, Dickie Blazer, organiser of Slater's Biggest Fool Contest. I'm proud to present the Biggest Fool Cup for the second year running to Richard! <laughs> Here's your prize, or should that be? Here's your pies! <laughs> <laughs> and a big thank you to Mr. Slater for setting up Richard with the clown car for the circus. <laughs> All with the help of Sooty Sweep and Sue! <laughs> Richard! <laughs>
And for winning the title two years running, it means you're entitled to the grand cash prize. A hundred pounds. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, thank you. Isn't this great, Sooty? But how am I going to get clean? Oh, no. Oh, no, no. Join in with me, everybody. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, hello, everybody. Um, Mr. Slater's ordered a brand new building, and guess who he's put in charge of the opening ceremony this afternoon? Yes, me! <laughs> Mind you, it doesn't look anywhere near finished. Wonder where the builders are? Oh, no. It's you, is it? You're the builder? You're an expert? <laughs> We've heard that before. Sweet, be careful! I've got to wear this suit for the opening ceremony, and I don't want to get it dirty. Excuse me, is this building actually going to be ready by this afternoon? I'll have to ask the foreman. Ha! And I wonder who that is. I said I didn't want to get dirty. I didn't want to get dirty. So you must be the foreman. How do you do? Never mind about how do you do, Sooty. Just look at me. I've been chosen to perform the opening ceremony this afternoon because Mr Slater says this new building really suits my personality. What's it going to be? Museum? A library? An art gallery? <laughs> it's a toilet! <laughs> Just make sure it's ready for this afternoon. Aha! How's it going then, boys? Is it going to be ready in time? You're expert. Yes, I know, I know. Actually, this is pretty good. In fact, uh, <laughs> I'd say it's pretty expert, to be honest. Congratulations, Sooty. All right, less of the bowing, big head. It's not that good. Hang on a minute! My tie! You've cemented my tie to the wall! It's not funny! Don't, don't. I said I didn't want to get dirty. I didn't, but thanks to you two, I am. Again. And what are you going to do about my tie? Hello. Oh, hello, boys. Richard's been a right grumpy trousers. He says he's only got one more suit left, and if he gets that dirty, he'll have nothing to wear for the opening ceremony this afternoon. <laughs> you finished all the building now? <gasps> would I like the grand tour? I certainly would, boys. <laughs> Present 
a new toilet. <laughs> um, I think a new toilet should probably have a new toilet. <laughs> yes, you have forgotten the toilet, you nitwits. What are you going to do now? You're running out of time. You left the toilet in the storage yard. <gasps> oh, no. But you can use magic to bring the toilet to us super fast. Oh, good idea. One, two, three. Easy, Wizzy. Let's get busy. Is it working, Sooty? All you have to do is concentrate on the journey and you should be fine. Well done, Sooty. That's it, Sooty. Keep concentrating. Don't let anything distract you. are doing in there? Waiting for a number 47 bus. What do you think I was doing in there? I fell in after being thrown off a toilet which I suspect had got something to do with you. Ooh. The grand opening of the new toilet block is in half an hour. <gasps> oh no! If I don't get this suit dry, Mr Slater's gonna sack me for sure. <laughs> as you can, please, Sue. I'm doing the best I can, Richard, but you did get quite a soaking. I know, I've got nothing else to wear. What about that gladiator costume you wore at the Christmas party? Don't be ridiculous, Sue, I'm not wearing a gladiator costume. Well, Richard, I've got an idea. There's a stronger setting on this hairdryer. That'll soon dry your suit. Oh, well, go for it, Sue. I don't mind if it's a little bit damp. Here goes. <laughs> oh, dear. You did say you didn't mind if it was a little bit damp. <laughs> what am I doing in my pyjamas? Well, thanks to you two, all my suits are ruined, so I've got to perform the opening ceremony like this. Hey? I look like I've escaped from somewhere. <laughs> yeah, that's very funny. Come on, let's just have a look at this toilet. Uh, actually, this isn't bad, boys, but, um, don't you think it needs a door? <laughs> what was I doing in there? Watching a One Direction concert. What do you think I was doing in there? Hey? I better hurry up because the guests have arrived for the opening ceremony. <coughs> oh no! <coughs> Stole them! <coughs> Must get changed! <laughs> Thank you. One for you. Where's Richard? He's gone to get changed again. <gasps> but I don't think he's anything left to wear apart from. <gasps> oh no! Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the grand toilet opening here at Slater's Holidays. I would just like to say that I look <laughs> ridiculous. 
I do not look ridiculous, Sweep. I'd just like to say that I look forward to seeing this great building being used by our community over and over again. Please raise your glasses to the toilet. The, the toilet. toilet. Thank you. I now declare this toilet officially open for business. Hooray! Hey! Oh, we did it! <laughs> oh, it's Mr. Slater. Uh, hello, sir. You've heard? What? Oh, thank you, sir. I just... Hey? Oh, he's gone. What did he say? It was Mr. Slater congratulating us on a job well done. Oh, I feel flushed with success. After all the problems this has caused me today, I'm going to have the honour of being this toilet's first official user. It's a shame you hadn't finished the plumbing. Oh, no! Richard! <laughs> yes, you're right, Sooty. Richard did say he was feeling... Flushed with 